All right, Coach. Uh, coming off your season opener, you got your home opener this week. Mm -hmm. Just kind of talk about last week and maybe touch on the upcoming. Right. Well, uh, you know, it, you never like to lose, but there's also a, a, a way that you lose. And as you go back and evaluate it, uh, I was disappointed, obviously. I mean, eight touchdown passes, that's, that's unacceptable, especially from an experienced defense. Uh, our defense played well in the spring. A lot of those kids are back, and then we've, also, and we've added some other players to that. So, uh, you know, there was a lot of, there was busted assignments, like I talked about after the game. Uh, you know, guys were obviously, um, yeah, uh, it wasn't our effort. I thought we were, you know, we were physical, but it, that's got to be, a, a common theme every week, but then you have to execute. And we had guys not where they were supposed to be in, in, in certain coverages, and uh, guys from West Kentucky running free down the middle of the field. And obviously, that's a problem. There was at least th uh, at least three of those. Uh, you know, in the game, you're going to get matched up, and sometimes you lose a 50-50 ball. And and as as coaches, you can accept that and you try to coach up better technique. Maybe you can win that battle. Uh, so we've got a lot to improve. We've got a lot of stuff to clean up on on, on defense. Uh, you know, we're playing another, you know, Sanford's very explosive in their pass game as well. And same thing, you know, uh, can happen this week if we don't get some things fixed. Offensively, uh, it wasn't, the, it, you know, it can be cleaner, all right? But uh, it was good to see Keon compete and make, make some plays. I think he'd be the first one to tell you after watching the tape that there's some things that he can do even better that can make us more efficient on offense. Um, I thought the offensive line competed really well, uh, you know, by, by far, you know, not, not perfect and didn't always protect the passer like they needed to, but uh, I thought there's some things in the run game where uh, they, they covered some people up and with some strain. I thought the backs ran, you know, backs ran hard. Um, you know, Colton and Donnell, as usual, went up and made a few plays. Uh, there's a couple plays that they that they need to make for us, and I, and I expect them to as they go forward. Uh, so there were some things to build off of of, of there, but uh, totally, uh, you know, didn't get it done on defense, and we better get it corrected quickly. I think you had 15 new players make their debuts. Uh, how, how would you kind of grade those guys, you know, stepping in in big roles? Well, I don't know if I went through it. You know, when my, you know, you start with Keon, and of course that was, I was encouraging how he competed, and 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 it's our my job, our job to. To, to clean him up, uh, you know, Yabi ran around and and uh, gave some great uh, effort and some physicality. He wasn't, in, you know, he was out for a week or so before the game, so uh, you know, probably wasn't in great shape. We'd like to do some other things with him as as we, uh, you know, can get him in practice uh, more uh, and get him out on the field and and do some different things with him. Um, you know, those are the two that pop in my mind uh, immediately. You know, Sean Berger played, you know, played a few plays. Uh, Castleberry did some things at the running back spot that that was good to see. You know, Tim Taylor ran hard. Uh, you know, we, we got a couple balls to uh, to uh, Tanker Sleeve, but not as many balls. You know, we didn't really challenge down the field with his speed. We certainly need, need to be able to do that. Uh, so you know, those are the guys that kind of pop out in my head of the new guys that played, and and, and Rod Hicks played uh, you know a little bit at the linebacker position and and made a couple plays, so that was good to see as well. Uh, last year it seemed like you guys a lot of times would use that you know fair catch on the kickoffs. Mm -hmm. You guys had a lot of exciting players back there and you mm -hmm. brought a couple out. Do you think that's something you're gonna look to do? A little bit? I, yeah, you know, it just if a guy's kicking with a lot of height, you know, it's. It's um, sometimes it's not worth it. It's not worth the risk of injury to to Peyton Logan. Uh, you know, it's tempting every time to let him do it. All right, but then you also risk the, you know, the block in the back. You also, you know, risk and you know, one time our our, our coaches were like, we got it, we got it, because they like where the ball was kicked. They like the timing of it. They had seen it from the play before, and you know, and the ball still only got back to the 25 yard line, and Peyton Logan was out, uh, you know, for a play or two, because it's it's a collision play. So there's sometimes as a head coach, I just tell them fair catch it, and we'll take the ball to 25. But uh, but we'll still keep practicing. And then, and then if we don't get a high kick, then, then that gives you an advantage back on the return team. Sanford, you haven't played them, but you have a lot of history with mm -hmm. Hatcher and Stewart. Does that give you a benefit to know a little bit about their offense and their systems? Yeah, uh, probably not, only because nobody on the staff was, was here with me when we used to play against them. I don't, I don't think, except for maybe uh, Kevin Bannon, but this is, you know, they're offensive guys and we're offensive guys. Um, you know, when he gets Hatcher, when he was at Murray, right, uh, and then of course I carried on with Mitch. Uh, watching their offense on tape, they're uh, very efficient, very efficient. Even though they play with tempo and they, 
uh, you know, it's 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 more controlled passing game with tempo. I uh, got some very explosive receivers that are that are fast. Uh, the quarterback, uh, you know, he's at, they run him some. He's very he got a good arm, very accurate, delivers the ball well. Uh, you know, and they're kind of um, you know they're very sound and and with uh, multiple looks on, on defense, uh, especially in the in the in the secondary. So they're a very well coached uh, football team. You mentioned uh, having to correct some things. What are some things that you need to work on this week? Well, like I said, first and foremost, uh, coverage in the secondary. All right, uh, you know. You know now different things the other night with some with some play action uh, with some bad eyes, um, you know the communication not having um, to, to Keem Young play in the game probably hurt us more than we realized. As a senior, kind of the the, the vocal leader back there to, to to make sure everybody's lined up correctly and everybody's eyes are where they're supposed to be and make the checks and stuff. Uh, getting him back will, 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 will certainly help us, all right? But, uh, you know, that's one thing you learn about, um, you know, in this sport, right? Ten guys can get a plus on the play, and one guy gets a minus, and the field's getting flipped on you. So that, that'll that never change in the game. And just like there's sometimes where, you know, people can get minus, but one guy makes it makes an eraser play and gets a sack or a tackle for loss. So, uh, you know, we certainly need to get more of those, more eraser plays, more tackle for losses, more, more pressures on the quarterback. But you can't do those things if guys are running free down the middle of the field. Uh, the quarterback's going to get the ball out. Do you guys are banged up? You know, yeah. I mean, saw the, the list this morning, and we, we we came back Friday and watched the tape. Gave the guys Saturday and Sunday off, and coaches worked and good good plans. So we're a little bit ahead going in today, which I'm sure just like Sanford would be. Uh, but no way that we you know that we that we've lost. Okay, just some 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 bumps and bruises after a normal game. Family weekend this weekend, but most importantly, your your home opener. Yeah. How, how exciting is that? It is. I think the in 16 years, this is the best that the stadium's ever looked. You know, with the uh, you know the visitor side and the scoreboard and the and, you know for us, uh, I'm very pleased. I'm very proud of, uh, of the clean, nice look. And so uh, hopefully, I think it's supposed to be good weather all week. And uh, uh, you know, we got to do our part. Uh, you know, there'll be a lot of festivities going on, and we need to give the fans something to cheer about and and be proud of. So being weak this week, so uh, uh, it's a great week in Martin uh, this, this first week of September. So we got to do our part. Coach, uh, Saturday is also the 20th anniversary of 9/11. Most of these players weren't even born no. in, in 2000, right. right? So is this something that you're going to maybe bring up and, and tell them the importance of, of that day? You know, we were talking about, and I, and I hope, I hope game day we are we're doing some type of moment of silence or something. But I do remember where I was. I remember being at Southwest Texas State, currently Texas State, and and, and the secretary coming down and and turning on the television so we all all could see it. And of course, the game was postponed that week. And uh, you know, you remember. I remember my parents growing up and going through different things, whether it be the Cuban Missile Crisis and things like that. That, that but that was the first time in my in my life, to where being close to 30 years old, that I'd been a part of something that was uh, tragic, but yet very uh, you know scary for the future and our safety of everybody in the country. So uh, yeah, I'll make sure today I bring it up uh, you know this weekend or uh, this week in team meeting and. And then hopefully guys will will take some time to reflect upon that and appreciate the, the freedoms and the, the safety that they have on a daily basis.